Uh, hi folks, today we are going to go off road to Gorai and Uttan. I'm waiting for a bunch of my friends, the Mumbai MTB off roaders, to come along. Standing at 5 30 at the end of the jetty. But something that I wanted to show you guys there's something about Mumbai you should not miss. This is it. Just look at that. Amazing, isn't it? So we are gonna start uh, cycling towards uh, Gorai. Uh, there's a ferry, the first ferry of 5.30. My friends from Mumbai MTB Off-Roaders group joined me. We had reached the Gorai Pagoda after cycling before we wait for the others to join us. Look at that. Oh, lights are off. After that, some fast downhill took me back to the junction of SL World and Gorai Road. We then decided to go to the Gorai Sunrise Point. The approach to the Gorai Sunrise Point is tremendously uphill. I quickly understood the trials and tribulations of joining an MTB off-roaders group. The sunrise was beautiful and colorful. small rocky patch we hit a truck road which takes us to the sunrise point we are at the sunset point or the sunrise point at Gorai Manori and look at the view of the beach there's no beach but a seashore, a very rocky seashore but we are standing on a cliff so the view is pretty awesome and you can see behind me the sunrise there is Manori beach over there we then headed out towards the Uttan off-road track This trail is a hidden beauty with many of the off-road tricks that can be used on this trail. Something I wanted to show you. I look at this mango. Check this guy out. Red color. There was a village road which was really like a pump track and it went up and down, up and down four times. I was then called out to an off-road trail which then directly took me to a hidden crossing. then made our way towards a very secret place. At this point, we had to climb over a wall which was barbed wire and then take our cycles through it. That was really fun part. After 
after we climbed over the fence, a really strong downhill trail awaited us. We were trailblazing with all the mud and dirt all in the air and the smell of fresh earth greeting us. Once we joined back the Uttan road, we then took ourselves to Dongri to visit the Fatima shrine and then take a downhill from there. The downhill is tremendously technical and I had to use all my skills that I saw from YouTube videos into use. There were a few trick sections where either my pedal or my chain hit the rock and stuck onto it. All the time I was holding on to my dear life. This was my first technical downhill and I did not want to get down from the bike. All the way, I clung onto my handlebars and balanced myself outside my seat in order not to go for an OTB. Most of the times, my cycle was skidding either forward or either sideways with both of my wheels locked out because of the brake pressure. After the downhill trail, I bumped into my MTB friends who I thought I had lost them but then after a while I lost them again. I then had a quick bite before I took off from that place. From there, a very good and a relaxing downhill, I got onto the ferry which took me back to Mumbai. The hustles and bustles and the crowd of Mumbai awaited me on the other side and that was it. Thanks for watching. Hello guys, yay! yay. Cheers for our media crew. Yay! Graffy! For adventures, treks, cycling videos, and running marathons, subscribe to UD Graffy.